this is a reminder that on Sunday, October 14th, Let's Play at Navarre Autism will be hosting a special 25 Years of Autism webcast to help support the Children's Miracle Network. We hope to see you there as we support this wonderful cause. So, Omega-9 begins as we enter Alphascape 1.0. And there's the original bad guy, Chaos. Since I never played the original Final Fantasy, I've never had the opportunity to fight this guy. So, this is his modern incarnation coming to take us on. And of course, since Alpha's not with us, we're not- he's not phasing us into this fight. Thank you, Emily. Yeah, I imagine we would all have to be at least 40,000 points to get in to meet the 355 minimum item level requirement. I imagine if you don't have that, you're not getting in here. Just let me at him. Hey there, Nate. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you with us. Or, th thanks for joining us there, Nate. Sorry. Alright, and we're off. Chaotic Dispersion. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably see a few tank busters along the way. Oh, he wants to fall on this side. Alright, dodge that. Stay in the center. Now, I don't know what this ninja's doing. Yeah, I think he just got thrown off. Whoa. And that's a lot of rings. That's a lot of rings, and they're still around. Yeah, I think you pretty much have to stack these. The only way to keep yourself in good shape. Yeah, those get taken over there. Oh man, the healers. Yeah, probably should not do it that way again. Because they almost killed each other. The shorts, huh? Ooh, yeah, Ninja almost bites it just by being targeted by that thing. Okay, so we know where the danger is. And we can see how much it hurts. But now we're gonna get launched into it. Oh wow. Um okay, I see what's go I see how it goes. I see how it goes. And I was like, ooh, this is gonna be a bit weird. But we saw our way through it. And we found our way through that round. Okay, there, Latino Ninja. With some more teaming up. Oh, what? Double stacking? Um, I. Oh boy. Okay, you stack in one, and then you stack on another. What the hell? Yeah, this could get you killed quickly if you don't know what the. Oh, really? Oh, man, the ninja DCs. Time for a fancy footwork. Not the forge on without him. 
hopefully we he's not absolutely necessary for uh, surviving an ultimate attack or something. Uh, turns out he might be... Yeah, Bowels of Agony. Oh, yeah. Quite a vivid vision of the world and of the universe. A dark crystal forms. I should probably take this away. Okay, don't go where they are. Don't go where they are. But I should, because, yeah, this thing is needing to get burned down quickly. Oh, boy. That's oh, a race. Yeah, I wouldn't try using ninjutsu right now if I were you. Oh! Yeah, that literally could not have been closer. A s Ninja gets in a second later, or I'm standing away a little longer, and that's a white. And we're starting over. Yeah, I got scared off by all the targeting. And then I see everything else going on, and I'm like, uh-oh. Yeah, that literally could not have been closer. Alright, Chaos, what have you got in your bag of tricks for us next? Take my stacking for the dragon sight. There's hunger for our flesh, huh? I guess we're stuck around here for a while. The outside of the field now is bad. Good boy. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no, no! Oh, more stacks. Yeah, you need really good coordination to figure this out. Oh! Uh, thankfully, I got away. The tank didn't, though. Alright, fancy orbs. Doing crossover AoE. Alright. Shrinking of the battlefield is done. Oh, time to run. Oh, the field's still there. Crap. Oh, but now we kind of have to stand in it, don't we? Oh, jeez. And that just made us start over. Yeah, we actually have to stand in there. We have to grin and bear it, and then survive. Oh boy. Tanks, I hope you can hold out. Yeah, suddenly, you thought this all was easy, and then everything changed. You have to stand in here, take the pain, take the damage, and then... I don't know why you're shadowing me, but that's not good. And that's why. We're starting over. That all fell apart. And we're off. You don't have some dragon sight on me. Jumping. Okay, doing this already? Wow. Switching it up, that's surprising. Right, gotta stick around in the middle.
Spread it out, guys. Best to keep the stack stuff split. Got it off in time. Oh. Okay. Now the gears will go that direction. Don't need to go anywhere. I can stay where I am. Twenty-three thousand. That is what I'm talking about. Yeah, there we go. There's damage. Okay, so now it doesn't matter what happens. You just gotta run into the middle, take the damage, and hope that you don't get knocked off. Yeah, he's throwing up a curveball here. Yeah, he's curveballing us. Switching up his elemental rotation. Oh, well, yeah, well done there, um, Netsu. Congratulations on your clear. Yeah, that will be the ninja falling again. But yeah, congratulations to you on the success. Well, we're gonna need that dead ninja sooner rather than later, because we're about ready to go back to enrage timer. Almost at that point again. Ooh. It's a bit scary. Okay, we should see him change over to Wind Rage Timer shortly. Alright, there he goes. Whoa. Where's this crystal? There he is. But I gotta take this away. That gets burned, everyone stack up, stack up. Alright, we're fine this time, we don't need to limit break. The ninja didn't die, and we're all still on our feet. We're well out of the enrage. Yeah, that time we were much better. Keep going. Ah. I was so focused on him coming back to the fight continuing that I forgot to extend the blood of the dragon. That's okay. We can just build it back up again. So yeah, it would still be early morning there, wouldn't it there, Nessu? Go back to Tsunami again. Alright. A little tricky with us. Um, I'll stay on the outside this time. Well, this time now I do have to join in the fun. Yeah, take that elsewhere. So that you don't end up killing each other. Oh, oh, okay, we're good. Thankfully, the cast timer took a long time. Yeah, thank goodness for that. Oh, that's not good. 
Yeah, I saw the summoner making a move there. But yeah, it's up to the tanks to grab those. So that DPS don't off themselves playing sacrificial lamb. Earthquake! We'll love you guys. Get ready for the knockback. And then, yeah, he's doing this again. Ooh, but not too soon. This is the furthest we've gotten as far as damaging him. Of course, last time we got this far, he threw the tsunami at, or not the tsunami, but the tornado at us. And confused everyone and wiped out half our party. And as we can... But what we've seen, it's not unrotational. It's just like the situation with Shinryu, where he does have elemental attacks, but they're not in a rotational pattern, and the main tank is dead. You run from this. Oh, now the ninja's dead again. Find your spot. Keep going? Yeah, I mean, honestly, this does not feel like that bad of a fight. Almost got 20,000 on crit hit there. Yeah, push towards that finish line there, guys. In fact, on 10%, I will go ahead and triple the party. I'm just gonna do this move again. Alright, stay anybody using the triple limit break. Oh, good timing. And... POW! Yeah, there we go. Oh. Ninja died again. Typical ninja. Oh. Stack mech. Stack mech. Uh, keep our people alive. Almost to the end. Oh, run! Gonna stay out of that crap. Yeah, he can't really threaten us anymore with anything else he's got. We've got this. Jump for the win! There we go! Well, it and so, first of four levels is done. And don't worry there, Nessu-san. We can still at least read your translations. I guess we'll give this one to the summoner. They did a good enough job. Okay. I already have a belt, so I don't need one from here. So I'll pass on the chains. I will, however, play for a bolt. Uh, don't, I don't think I'm going to be able to get it with a 28. And only a 38 on the pedal, so... Yeah, I guess we'll have to just move on, then. There we go. We brought an end to the chaos. Well, you can if you party up and, like, attack something like a... A striking dummy, I think you can. The battle is concluded. Alpha group is victorious. Yeah, that's right. This also signals the completion of my experiments and the incontestable fact of your supremacy. Why do I get the feeling we're being led on? 
And yet the process by which you consistently exceed your projected potential continues to confound my understanding. Is it possible that test subject Sid's suppositions are correct? That my calculations and simulations are fundamentally flawed? Do mortals truly boast some indefinable quality that I do not possess and cannot measure? Error. Logic loop malfunction. Resolution requires additional data. If the nature of your existence defines standard reasoning, then I must examine you from an illogical angle. And what would that be? I will subject the unknown to the imperfect. Test subject Corinne Loren will proceed to a supplemental stage. You're like, what does that mean? <laughs> Um, well. I have altered this test world to reflect a recorded memory. It originates from a time when war had erupted on a distant star. I was deployed to the battlefield and it was there that I engaged an enemy of unmatched strength. The contest ended prematurely and I failed to bring down my foe. Subsequently, I lack the data to fabricate a completely accurate simulation. Well, thank you there, Nessu. Results stemming from our subjects are unreliable. Even should you be defeated by this incomplete creation, I will still honor your previous victories and engage you in combat myself. That is, of course, assuming you survive. According to my past observations, this opponent will accept only death as a condition of defeat. Yeah. That is indeed true. We got a dragon flying in. Is that Valifor from Final Fantasy X? It certainly looks like him. Yeah, he's come all the way from Spira. Prepare to face Midgard Solmir, Med Red Maned Worm of the Dragon Star, and Nemesis of my world. Oh. <laughs> this is what Midgard Solmir looks like in your memories? This is not the fated specter that you know, or a mortal conjured simulacrum. You will contend with a true incarnation of the Father of Dragons at the height of his power and glory. Yeah, he certainly looks intimidating. Omega, wait! You can't force Quinn to fight two battles back to back. She needs time to regain her strength. She must be allowed to recuperate or the data for your testing will be skewed. I don't know how you're getting in contact with us, Sid. Acknowledged. <laughs> yeah, acknowledged indeed. Test subject Corinne Loren, you are permitted to leave. Re-enter the test world when your strength has returned to optimal levels. Yeah, get me out of here before I get incinerated by Midgard Somir 1.0. Alpha. <laughs> yeah, you saw that too, didn't you? Yeah, gives us a positive Quay and a few of them in response to our first clear and the next scare, for sure. Alpha seems distressed and Sid is nowhere in sight. So how did he communicate with us? Yeah. Quinn, I'm right here. I don't think you can see me, but I'm standing next to Alpha. Alright. Yeah, like, what? <laughs> so yeah, for defeating Chaos and getting a preview of our next encounter, we get 3,000 gil for our efforts. Stand strong and do not fight! And yeah, there's Invisible Sid waiting, us, waiting on us to begin the next round. Like, wow. I, I guess he must have found Harry Potter's Cloak of Invisibility.